building my own foundation. So I feel like that's what kind of you're doing. And I feel like that's the case for like a lot of young people, just because how would we know how to go about things in a lot of ways? Like, yeah, there's there's all this past history of like habits you can you can take on, um, kind of certain certain activities or um, places to go to interact with certain people to build like a network of connections and stuff. But even so, like I think we're all just. I don't want to hate, like, say, like, we're, on, we're all on our own path or journey, whatever, but, like, right. that really is the case, because you can live, you can go through life in so many different ways, there's no one way or wrong, or wrong ways to go about it, but <laughs> there's no one way to go through life. You know, you kind of gave me an idea, um, yeah. it just kind of came, but, uh, so, yeah, met Alex through Ubering, mm -hmm. and um, giving him a ride, and, you know, one thing that I've been, well, I can say I've been kind of, you know, consciously aware of, and that i kind of been doing is um it's just ubering um you know when i moved out here from orlando from jacksonville to orlando i didn't i didn't really have i came from starbucks I, you know i worked at starbucks for like two years okay you know um and but and i was like i don't want to do this i don't want to do this starbucks thing anymore you know and so i moved to orlando i didn't have much to do and much work and so i started off you know just driving doing lift uh, you know and did the lift and you know um, thought it'd be weird at first you know I was kind of sketched out by it and but I, I just felt like my my personality you know I can just get along on the coast and kind of get by you know and make some some decent money on mm -hmm. the side from it and still you know live yep and um, then I found out that like you know that that kind of just doing live wasn't really still bringing in money it wasn't doing enough even though you know, I was doing it a lot, and so I picked up doing Ubering as well. So now I'm doing Lyft and Ubering, and um, so now I'm doing it for like you know, let's say two two months. And up until this point, you know, I'm thinking that it's just a job, you know. But if you ask me today, like it's not just a job. Literally, like this Uber and Lyft. You know, I don't know how any other person may look at this situation of where they look at this job in particular, but in my field, me as being a communications major at UCF, oh, it has good. it has taught me so much with knowing how to <coughs> how to connect with people, mm -hmm. um, and and just how to relate with people, Dude, how time, to man. you know converse with people, yeah. and just different people. And there's and I, I thought I thought I've seen a lot of different people in this world already, but no, the people that I've given a ride to, there's just many more different people, and I can definitely tell, like you know, right now what I'm doing is I'm definitely learning how to effectively communicate with you know different people from different backgrounds, but yeah. also how to love almost different people from different backgrounds, you know, because these people are just getting in my car, Alex. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> They're getting in my car, and for some reason, you can ask anybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What they do is like, especially late at night, what people are doing, they just, they just, um, you know, get in my car, and for some reason, they just want to tell, they just want to tell me like everything that happened last night, everything that happened, you know. Yeah, in great detail. In great detail, yeah. and I'm like, why are you telling me your personal life? In my mind, I'm thinking that, <laughs> but in reality, is you know, they just, they just need someone to. To listen to them, you know, because yeah. you know, there's not yep. gonna be many times, you know, and, and a lot of times, you know, I've made, you know, women, like you know, young women would get in my car, and you know, in my car, and, and you know, it'd be like late, and you know, like, you know, they would be like, you know, looking, talking, you know, about some really like, you know, serious things, and they expected me to take that deal of information and cherish it, and. You know, and and also, you know, provide them with whatever the, the case is. You know, to go about their life and live comfortably, whatever they have to do. You okay. know, and so I could stop right there, but <laughs> I was about to go really deep on that. I was going oh, really deep. No, you can keep going. Keep going. Yeah. I, I know. So, oh, but cool. yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I, you know, <laughs> I just, I just, I just love when people get in my car and and they're just, you know, and they're willing just to, you know, just pour out their hearts to wherever they wherever they have to say um, wherever they just need, need to wherever they feel in that moment you know because that shows me that's just them being them mm -hmm. and that helps me connect with uh, with what a person really is you know mm -hmm. I love absolutely, it absolutely man yeah. absolutely I think that is 
probably the healthiest way you can go about being an Uber driver is doing it with a purpose. And your purpose behind it would be to continually build upon your communication skills, your ability to connect with other people from a whole array of diverse backgrounds and experiences and such that make life interesting in a lot of ways. Because anybody, anybody, like, you know, on this campus, I don't want to say a certain degree, but yeah, even on this campus, like, everybody comes from a different background. Like, sure, most yes. of them are from the Central Florida area, but still, like, they've lived life a completely different way than me or you have gone through life. And exactly. because of that, there's going to be still subtle or maybe in some ways, like, quantifiable, like, differences. You're like, why, 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 why do they act that way? Why are they, why are they misinterpreting me? Or why are they just, yeah. So I think, I think using Uber in that way, like, is just benefiting you tremendously. And something you should continually do until like you eventually transition out of Uber. Thanks. But certainly, yeah, you can because because like one on one small talk or communication. Oh about, man. Because like because it always probably starts out maybe not all the time, but like it sometimes always starts out like small talk in the car. Yeah. Yep. But then being able to lead it or transition it into like where you're actually getting deep yeah. talking talking to somebody. You know, one thing I hate. Oh, where are you from? <laughs> yeah, that's the worst small talk. So like, oh, let's just get past that. Let's from? just let's just let's just dive straight deep into it. You know. <laughs> I mean, it certainly could be like a deep talk item, but like it never like like open up with like when you first meet somebody. It's like, oh, so where are you from? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like I don't know if you like if you ever do like an orientation thing for anything. It could always be like if you meet somebody and be like, oh, what's your name? Hi, how you doing? So where are you from? And then you just like get the answer right back, and then there's really no substance to like yeah. go off of it unless you like you have prior knowledge of like the place where they're like, oh, she's from Kansas. Oh, you have a lot of corn or whatever. Like, no, I don't, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that's my thoughts right there, man. But there's a story for that one. <laughs> no, dude, I think that's another great skill to have, though. Just again, I already said it before, like being a great conversationalist, yeah, just yeah. being a person that can connect with other people. Like, you'll do so much in life with that. Like, think of all the different aspects. Think of business, personal relationships, just meeting new people on a day-to-day -day basis. Like, all that revolves around you being able to connect with other people, being able to read people, being able to just genuinely listen, actively yeah. listen. Show a very caring nature in that person. Just genuine interest. So, like, uh, dude, you should read, because I've, um, I've been reading it. I'm almost done with it. I always botched the title of it, man. Give me a second. It's how to how to win friends and influence people. I think that's what it's called. It's about Dale Dale. It's by Dale Carnegie. Dude, it's about a hundred year old book. I actually, I have it in my backpack. Dude, I think I got that book. No, did you really? I think I, I'm pretty sure that that dude. I'll show you to you after off camera. Right, right. right. like, and honestly, man, because like the things you've been talking about, like you can all relate that back to that book, and I guarantee you, like yeah, we were talking about. That. I was supposed to read that book. Yeah. Um, I had some friends who recommended me to read yeah, that book I'm too. Serious, man. Read wow. it. Read it. Cause like, and then I don't know when you're gonna do Uber again, but like, you can even just read a chapter right before you do your Uber for that day, and then you could like just take what you read in that chapter and apply it to like your conversations, and like just just take note and see what happens. Like, <laughs> it'd be interesting like experiment to do. Yeah, I do. I love experiment. I love yeah. social experiments. I love that. I love social experiments. <laughs> What are some of the social experiments you've done? Uh, some social experiments? Yeah, oh, what's man. Some, what's some notable ones that come to mind? Um, some ones that come in mind. Dude, I've been all over how <laughs> weird I am. Boy, <laughs> obviously, I had to, to come on the chart and say something different from anyone else, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, right. So, gosh, so many, so many. Oh. Okay, so I one social experiment that I are you talking about like Uber? Or are you talking about like just in general? Just in general, because yeah, okay. you're just like I love social experiments. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like one thing I, I would do is um, I kind of like saw this on YouTube. I saw like this this guy named Remy Gavard. You know, he's like a, if you don't know, he's like a, a soccer player. He's crazy though. This guy is crazy in his like country. I believe it's Australia. His like his. Uh, he plays soccer. Professional yeah, soccer. Yeah, professional. Okay. And he's like, bro, he's like crazy, but. This dude, for some reason, I think because he's like such an idol in his country, like he can do crazy stuff and literally like he would not get in trouble. Like he would, um, you know, he would, he would literally like, you know, 
go up to a police officer and take his hat and literally like in a kangaroo outfit and literally like just and just run off you know jump off and and you know of course they'll try to arrest him and later on figure out he's Rembrandt Gillard and let him go but he also did this one where he'll go to the beach and um he goes to the beach and uh, you know there's like you know people sit you know lay down and they, like they lay down there starting to suntan they mm -hmm. tan in their back you know just like laying down on mm -hmm. the side and um, I decided to do that like when I was in high school I decided to do that because I was following him and I remember I went up to uh, the beach and I like laid down by this this like one like lady who was like who was like sun tanning okay and like she like turned over her head and she saw me and she got so freaked out and she was like <gasps> and then and, like literally um, even though I, me and my friends thought it wasn't a big deal as we like you know left this scene you know lady could like shoot us out of here yeah, yeah. you know this cop came up to us and was like are you a pedophile <laughs> you know and it was like it made a situation seem so much bigger <laughs> yeah you know? that it did you know if that's the case if that was that was probably a worse social experiment just to tell you <laughs> you know but it's the top of my mind <laughs> no that's, man, that's the that's the beauty of uh, we always have uh, different ideas or different thoughts or different memories every given day kind of thing like it always changes just based off how your interactions of the day kind of thing. Yo, I got a better one. Okay, let's hear it. You got, okay, oh, let's I, I, okay. Let's hear it. Well, at least better than that. Okay, one. okay. At least you knew it was like, I was called a pedophile. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> 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 okay, so this, okay, so this one, this yeah. one was, um, so like, I have a social experiment where like, you know how like, you know how like you, uh, you ever, you ever been into like a, like a, like a bar or a club? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, okay. Oh, we can't, we can't say that, can we? No, you can't. I was, just, I was just about to say, like, all the time, but yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> Not okay. for, like, a couple months now, but, like, okay, you know, okay, okay, right, okay. past experience. Okay. So. okay. And so, like, when I, when I first hit, right, I'm 20, I'm 24 later this year, but when I first turned 21, you know, um, I would, like, I, I, I went into this bar, and it was, like, a kind of bar club, and I went with my friend, was, which was, a, you know, a girl, and, you know, and she's, like, my best friend. She's, like, my older sister she's older than me but we go there together she's like you know she's like you're gonna have a good time and the, like while we're like there you know having a good time and this this you know this random guy like literally like you know starts like dancing up on her you know getting close even though we're like right here you yeah. know and um i'm not a guy aggressive guy at all i'm not aggressive i'm not like yo you dance my friend get off her you know i'm not that guy but um what i like to do is i like to you know as I see this guy's like, you know, dancing up on my friend, mm -hmm. and she, you know, she may be like, kind of like, she might be like, yo, this guy's like, she give me like these looks. And yeah, she's, like, she's giving you those cues. Like, like, you know what? I don't know. Like, and she may not, she may not be saying like, you rescue me, but she's like, yo, what do I do? Like, I can see her mind. She's probably like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. So if the guy is like making her feel like, hey, what do I do? Then what I do is I got, I like to like switch over and make the guy feel like what do I do? So in that situation, what I do is as he dances on her, I go up to him and I just go. <laughs> I do some weird. I go this. <laughs> like I do some weird dances, man. And it's like this. It causes the guy to sometimes just be like, dude. Like he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy is totally crazy. I'm backing off. I'm backing off. So that's, I love doing that social experiment. I love doing it. That, does that count as a social yeah, experiment? Just, that's a social experiment. Like, yes. You just broke it down to like, there was the problem or uh, just like a given scenario. And you know what? So I'm going to go about it. And you're experimenting with how you've gone about it. And yeah. You, over time, it's transitioned to where you do it. different type of like chicken dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah you're, you're a dancer, dude. You're a dancer. You're a dancer. <laughs> Can't have, be you, too hard, have you ever been to uh, any music festivals? Music festivals? Dude, I've only been to one. Where have you been? What have you been to? Okeechobee. Where was that at? Uh, that was in the in Okeechobee. <laughs> and where was that at? I have no idea. Um, dude, honestly, I'm pretty sure I don't know, and people don't Wait, know is, why. But um, you don't know where Okeechobee is? I don't know why. I don't know it's why. It's in Florida, though. I thought. Yeah, it's in Florida. Okay. It's in Florida. It's somewhere here, Florida. But it's I think it's like I think it's like South, probably, but. Uh, I don't think I've heard of that. Was it a big music festival? Or? Dude, man, oh my gosh. It was only like the second one. The first one was last year, of course, but this is the second one. And I, I, I went oh, to this. Fairly new. Yeah, it's fairly new. So I went to this one. It was, it was awesome, man. Yeah. So crazy. Um, was there like uh, big names there at all? Or? Yeah, it was, um, it was like, bro, 
All right, so big names, you got, of course, let me just.